Okay, welcome to um, this practice paper review question 8 part C. This is the last in the paper itself. For transformational flow delivering the capability. Uh, there's no reference to any scenario or additional information in this particular question. As you can see, no bold information. And it's one we've got to marry up from something from 2 to column 1. Once more than once or not at all. So let's have a look. Uh, as you can see, there are seven statements on one side and six on this side in column one. Therefore, it's going to be once more than once or not at all. So let's look at the statements in here. First of all, guidance on criteria to be used for review of the new training prospectus. Well, this is to our guidance, quality and assurance. If we look over here, we'll find quality insurance under letter D. So you'll use letter D for the answer for that one. Number two. The capacity of and facilities to be offered by each new training centre. Well, this is going to be part of the blueprint, how we're going to put together to arrive at the final vision. So that's going to be in letter A, the blueprint. A proposed change. So we're looking at change now. Change comes out of issues to the training perspective preferred. Identify joint preparation in new uh, in project five. So number three, looking at uh, an issue which will be the letter C. All right, and we've changed about issues or coming out of an issue. Number four, how revised training perspective will contribute to delivering market leading customer service? Well, the new training prospectus uh, that is an output from a project, therefore, uh, how a project contributes to the program is kept in projects dossier. So that would be letter G. General processes to follow for managing any legal difficulties that may arise during the execution of two project two. Well, that's looking at some uncertainty. Something may happen in the future. Therefore, we are looking at risks. So five needs to be documented. So, uh, may have the processes will be documented in the risk management strategy. Beg your pardon. And so that's letter E, of course. And finally, the PM of Project 2 has reassessed the risk that it might not be possible to deliver. So reassess and forecast this is less likely to occur. So its ratings changed, and that would be therefore against a specific risk in the program risk register. All right. So that would be the letter F. Uh, any concerns, then obviously link up what sort of documents will be recording that information as we go through. Um, delivering the capability and see how that links up with these particular documents where that information is trapped. Uh, any further clarification, of course, can be sought from the course tutor uh, by addressing that through the portal on the platform. Um, otherwise, just read back through the chapter on the specific parts that you may have had some difficulty with and hopefully that has explained uh, why these answers are linked up the way they are. So thank you for that. And if this is your last question in the practice paper, uh, we wish you well in the final live MSP practitioner exam, as you wish. Um, and thank you for having listened. And hopefully this has been of some beneficial help to you throughout the practitioner part of the course. Goodbye.